Anong coronaviruses? Ito ay grupo ng viruses na saninang sakit sa mga mamangsu ibon. Sa mga tao, magiging sanin nito ay respiratory infections. Sa mga bakat baboy naman ay magiging sanin ay diarrhea. At sa mga manok naman ay upper respiratory disease. Unfortunately guys, wala pa itong vaccines or antiviral drugs na aprupado para mapigilan o malunasan ng mga epidemyang ito. But before anything else guys, welcome to my channel! And yung aseo! Now you're tuning in to everything inside the planet. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click the bell for you to be updated for my next following videos. Okay, welcome back guys! And yung! Okay, here we go! Let's go! <laughs> Ang coronaviruses ay unang na-discover last 1960. And take note guys, mainly there are three deadly human strains coronaviruses like SARS, MERS-CoV, and the so-called 2019 novel coronavirus nowadays. So here's the following seven human coronaviruses in the years they were discovered. Number 1 and 2, Human Coronavirus 229NE or HCOV 229NE and Human Coronavirus OC43 or HCOV OC43 are both confirmed last 1960. Number 3, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome or SARS-CoV confirmed last 2003. Number 4, Human Coronavirus NL63 or HCOV NL63 confirmed last 2004. Number 5, Human Coronavirus SQ1 confirmed last 2005. Number 6, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS-CoV confirmed last 2012. And the last part is the 7th Human Strain Coronavirus which is the outbreak caused to be viral globally nowadays known as Novel Coronavirus 2019 or 2019 in COV. And now here's the thing, I will gonna shade some light on these things which I have learned about in this coronaviruses, but I am by no means an expert in this field, so here's the following. Number 1, Human Coronavirus 229E or HCOV 229E is associated with a range of respiratory symptoms ranging from the common cold to high morbidity outcomes such as pneumonia and myocarditis. So the common cold is particularly the symptoms of HCOV 229E. Simply as a cold is a viral infectious disease of the upper respiratory tract that primarily affects the nose. Ang sign at symptoms nito ay lalabas less than 2 days pagkatapos ng exposure sa virus. Ang tao na nakakaranas nito ay madalas na nakaka-recover 7 to 10 days. Number 2, Human Coronavirus OC43 or HCOV OC43 is just similar with the HCOV 229E. Both are among the known viruses that causes the common cold and also causing severe lower respiratory tract infections including sa mga neurinic infants, mga matatanda, and immunocompromised individuals o yung mga undergoing chemotherapy at sa mga taong may mga HIV. At ang kaibahan ng HCOV 229E at HCOV OC43 ay ganito. Ang HCOV 229E ay isang alpha coronavirus while HCOV OC43 ay beta coronavirus. But wait guys, ano pala tong alpha coronavirus at saka beta coronavirus? Okay, ito yun. Alpha coronavirus considered as phylo group 1 coronaviruses at ang beta coronavirus ay this genus is also known as group 2 coronaviruses. Both are belong to the south family coronavirini of the family coronaviridae. Well anyways guys, ano naman ba to tong coronavirini? 
at saka coronavirus day. I don't know guys, sobrang napaka-brood pala ng usaping ito, oh my god. But if you're really interested to know a little farther about this coronavirus and coronavirus little thingy, you can request me for the next following videos. And now let's turn back to our main topic. Number 3, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome or SARS-CoV. Ito ay isa sa tatlong nabanggit ko kanina, diba? Na napaka-malubha at napaka-nakakamatay. So, ito ay sanhi ng palaging pagkakaroon ng karamdaman, mark initially and systemic symptoms ng muscle pain, sakit sa ulo at lagnat. Followed by 2 to 14 days by the onset of respiratory symptoms, mainly cough, desmia, and pneumonia. Number 4. Human Coronavirus NL63 or HCOV NL63 Pinaniniwalaan na ito ay sa pamamagitan ng direct person-to-person -person transmission sa isang highly populated areas at magtatagal ng isang linggo sa ating katawan at tatlong oras sa mga tuyong lugar. Well, sinasabi ng mga saintista na itong virus na ito ay may isang seasonal incidence nangyayari palagi sa winter month and temperate climate. In more extreme and tropical climate, the virus has no preference toward particular season. 5. Human Coronavirus HQU1 Unang natukoy ito noong January 2005. At isang 71 years old na lalaki na na hospital with an acute respiratory distress and radiographically confirmed bilateral pneumonia. Similar din ang coronavirus na ito sa HCOV-63 at sa novel coronavirus 2019 na kung saan winter months mas maraming respiratorang sample ang naitala. And take note, tatlong oras lang po ito sa tropical season. Number 6, mers cov or Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or AMC known as the novel coronavirus last 2012. This is also identified previously and known coronavirus for the man's lungs. Ang unang nang kumpirma na kaso nito ay sa Saudi Arabia. Next, sa Qatar, na may parehong flu symptoms at sequence ng virus. It is nearly identical with this associated and rapid research and monitoring of this novel coronavirus. Now, this is the highlight and most awaited part is the 7th human strain coronavirus, which the outbreak gone viral globally. Well, the novel coronavirus 2019 or 2019 HCOV, informally known as the Wuhan coronavirus, originally from Wuhan, Hubei province. One of the deadliest human strains coronaviruses nowadays. But wait, guys. Mm, of course not. Remember, we are in the tropical area. Knowing that it has a preference of this novel coronavirus 2019 towards this tropical season. So good news tayo dyan, guys. Kailangan lang talaga natin yung proper hygiene. Mas matakot po tayo sa Ebola virus, guys. Well, as the virus spreads through the body, it damages the immune system and organs. Compared with novel coronavirus 2019, it causes respiratory infections in lung. But kung napababayaan, pwede rin mamuloy sa mga niya, ikakamatay rin. But di ko po sinasabing maging kampante po tayo sa novel coronavirus 2019 na ito because still it's very deadly kaya. Before we're gonna finish this video, now let's refresh muna this Ebola virus. Ano nga pala ito? Ebola virus disease or EVD known as Ebola hemorrhagic fever or EHF simply as Ebola discovered 1976 originally from Democratic Republic of Congo, West Africa. This virus is the world's deadliest virus. Magsisimula ang sintomas nito 2 days to 3 weeks with fever, sore through, muscular pain, and headaches. Pagsusuka, diarrhea, and rashes usually followed kung sira na yung function sa liver at saka sa kidney. And then both bleed internally and externally. 
kaya masyado talagang high risk kasi mismo immune system sinisira nito. Anyways, wait lang. Ang gulo na, di ba? So, ilan ba talaga lahat ng viruses sa buong mundo? Well, ang coronaviruses ay ilan lamang sa mga viruses na encounter natin nowadays. Though it's unknown exactly how many types of viruses, there are approximately 320,000 types of viruses infect mammals alone. So, mammals pa lang po yun. Wala pa pong birds. According to a study published in 2013 in the journal American Study for Microbiology. So, kung nasisihan po kayo at nasasatisfied sa ginawa kong video na to, please hit like, subscribe, and hit the bell for you to be updated for my next following videos. Thank you for watching. Manasopangas nila. Kamsaham nila. Anyong!